Hello viewers, welcome to Geology. My name is Jitesh and today I am going to talk about the latest OTC and OS update for the OnePlus's fifth series of phones, which are the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5. Talking about the phones, the one in my hand is the OnePlus 5. The update also comes for the OnePlus 5T and the links for both downloads are given in the description below. You can say that the update is really late, the Android 11 is right around the corner, but I think OnePlus has done a commendable job in releasing the update for a phone that is 3 years old. Going to the about phone in the settings, as you can see, the Oxygen OS version is 10.0.0, which is the basic build of the Oxygen OS 10. And near that you can also see that the Android version is 10 as well. When I click on that, I can see that the security patch level is of Apple 5th. You can also see that the settings app has also been slightly redesigned. The new volume bar can be expanded to see more settings without going into the sound settings. The battery optimization now has an intelligent control mode, which apparently has more control over the earlier version. The battery backup is also good as I am still getting around 4.5 hours of screen on time in a single charge. Another thing to note is in the default apps like phone and clock. Earlier they used to have these tabs on top but now it's on the bottom for easier one handed usage. One thing I felt bad about this is that earlier I could just swipe left and right to switch between tabs but now that's completely gone and you have to click on the tab to go to that. These are the change load of this update. Under the system you can see the obvious changes like upgrading to Android 10 and has a brand new UA design. Enhanced Location Permission This update brings a new setting inside the location settings where you can see and set the permission for every single app to use the location service. You can also set the app to use the location only when the app is running to prevent unwanted background usage for added security. The next change is the new customization option and this is one of the major UA changes in this update. You can go into the settings and find a new member for customization. Go inside and you will find a completely new and intuitive way to customize the look and feel of your UI in one place. You can change the wallpaper and the clock for the ambient desktop display from here. Below that you can set the accent color and inside the tones you can uh, change the theme to light, colorful or dark. The colorful is for the stock android look and you can set the light or dark theme according to your preference. Under that you can also see the shape of the buttons, how they are displayed in the quick settings. There are circles, square, teardrops and rounded, rounded rectangle, which is very hard to say. You can also change the default item pad and the font from here. Then there is the game space which is more or less like your game mode in the earlier version. But now that it is a separate app instead of just a setting. Inside the app you can see every games that are installed in the device and you can customize how you want to see the notifications and alerts when you play a game. Inside its settings you can also set to load the buttons and disable auto brightness when the game is open. There is a fanatic mode too for greater performance and you can also set it if you want to activate that when the game runs. Another change is in the messages where you can add keywords to block text messages in the messaging app. With this you can block notifications for messages that contains ads or spams etc. You can for example add a keyword called discount and every message that contains the word discount will be moved to a spam folder. This update also comes with Android 10's brand new navigation gestures and remove the navigation pill and back button from the Android 9 Pie. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show the gestures as it's available only for the OnePlus 5T since this phone came with hardware buttons. The next change is the addition of a better electronic stabilization in the camera app as this phone's camera doesn't have optical image stabilization. But sadly the option was not ready to be rolled out with this update and it will only be pushed with the next stable update. Now if you haven't got the update yet, there is no need to worry because the update is rolled out in typical OnePlus fashion where only a few number of users will get the update first and then a few more before the update is rolled out to the masses. You can either wait for it to show up in your system updates or if you don't want to wait then you can manually download it and install easily. The links to the files to both phones are mentioned in the description below. You can download it from there or you can install this app called Oxygen Updater and download the file from there. After downloading the file you can place it 
inside the internal storage like this. Then go to settings, inside system you can see the system updates and inside that when you click on the gear icon you will find an option called local upgrade. The downloaded file will show up there and you can click on it and the font will upgrade. That's that about the latest Ocean OS update for the OnePlus 5 and 5T. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. As you might have noticed, this is my first video and I need your support to continue making videos like this. So if you found this video interesting and helpful, please click on the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and hit on the bell icon too to get notified when I post a video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I thank you for watching and hope you have a great day. Take care, wear a mask, maintain social distance and stay safe.